What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another tech video. Today we're gonna to be talking about what to do if your PlayStation 5 will not go into rest mode. Let's get right into this. So the first thing that I wanted to mention is something I tried to mention in all of my tech videos, and that is most of these steps, at least one of them, will work for most people. However, if they don't work for you, please don't leave negative feedback because these will not work for everybody, but they do work for most people, at least one of these steps I'm gonna be sharing in this video. So with that being said, let's get into the first thing, and that is to make sure that the console has the current updates. Now, if you do not know if the console has the current updates, you can go into the settings and check for update to see if it is, and you can also see what the current update is that is on the system. Now, if there is a newer update and you search online and you find that there is a newer one, but your system is just not recognizing and not realizing that there is a new update available. You can actually download it onto a flash drive, go into safe mode on your console and install it that way. So there is another option as well. So the first thing that you're gonna want to make sure is that your system has the most current update. To do this, you're gonna go into the settings and you're gonna check updates and see what the current update is. If you do search online, you realize that you're actually there is a new update, but your system just didn't recognize it. You can go on a laptop with a flash drive, download the newest updates, go into safe mode on the console and do the updates that way. But most of the time your console will recognize if there is a new update. Now the reason why I'm mentioning to have the current update on your system is because going into rest mode, it was added on the PlayStation 5 with an update. So to make sure that it always works, you have to have the most current updates on your system to make sure rest mode will work for you. Next, if your PlayStation 5 is up to date, you will reset the console. Now this is not a factory reset, you're not going to lose anything, it simply just restarts the console from within a safe mode. To do this, you're going to turn off the console and you're going to enter safe mode by pressing the power button until you hear two beeps. Now, if you cannot enter safe mode, I do have another video talking about what to do if you can't enter safe mode. But once you're in safe mode, you're going to connect the controller and choose reset console, which should be the first option in safe mode. Next, if that didn't work, make sure there isn't a problem with your power cable. Make sure that it's securely plugged into the back of your console and that it is not loose. If you do have another power cable, I do suggest testing your PS5 with the other power cable to see if it does work because you need to have it plugged in fully and the cable, the power cable plugged in properly for your PS5 to go into rest mode because if it does detect anything there, it just will not go into rest mode as a safety feature. And the last thing to try for your PS5 if it will not go into safe mode is a soft reset and that is not as scary as it sounds. To do this, you're gonna turn off your PlayStation 5 and you're gonna disconnect all of the cables. You're going to leave it unplugged for about 20 to 30 minutes. After the 20 to 30 minutes, you're going to plug everything back in. You're going to turn on the PlayStation 5 and try to enter safe mode once again. Now, hopefully that last step did work for you. And hopefully at least one of these steps did work for you. The keys to remember is to make sure that your power cable is plugged in properly. It's not faulty. If you do have a spare power cable or a second power cable for your PS5, I recommend using that one and trying to go into safe mode. Maybe you have a faulty cable you're not aware of. And the other thing that is very important is to make sure your console is up to date with the newest updates because since rest mode was added via an update, it has to be up to date for you to use that feature. So hopefully it did work for you, but again, these might not work for everybody. If it didn't work for you, there might be a bigger issue with your PlayStation 5 and you might need to take it in for repairs, but hopefully one of these things did work for you. I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.